Okay, we're running now. Um, hi there, my name's Arthur Wassum. And when I first moved to Nashville, where I am now from Nashville, Tennessee, I did a show with the Fifth Jubilee Singers. I found out that they'd formed in the late 1800s and while they were on tour in London, met the Queen of England. That is where she gave the town they were from the title Music City. I thought, wait a minute, why doesn't they know, anybody know this? The city of Nashville was called Music City by a gospel group after the Civil War by the Queen of England. So I had to write the story. And so the log line is, this is one story of how Nashville got its nickname. The title of the show, um, The City of Music. Tonal comps would be Green Book meets Mudbound. It's a feature drama, a period piece set in the late 1800s. Um, once upon a time, there were three girls uh, in the southern plantation in the mid-1800s. Every day they would work in the fields and try not to get beat by the mean old slave master. One day, the Civil War came to the plantation, and they were freed. Because of that, they were sent to an orphanage run by missionaries where they learned to read and write. One day, they were invited to apply to a college that was forming in Nashville. Because of that, they did apply. They were accepted. They received a higher education and joined the music program. Until finally, to raise money for the school, they began touring and ended up in England, where they were the first freed slaves anyone in the world had ever seen. They brought hope and freedom and forgiveness by the songs that they sang, Negro spirituals. Um, on an appearance before the Queen, sorry about that, um, she asked them where they were from. Well, they replied, Nashville, Tennessee, and the Queen then admitted that she did not know where Nashville, Tennessee was, but it must be a city of music. For the rest of the tour and until today, they still introduce themselves from Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I want to restate that it's a feature, it's a drama, and a period piece set in the late 1800s. I have to warn you. I did not write this black. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a little light-skinned to be writing a black movie. So I wrote it Southern, because y'all, I do speak Southern. I speak it very well. Southern and black are real close, but there are differences. I figure that the actors will be able to translate um, with the lines that they have. So once again, um, this is just one of the stories of how Nashville got its nickname. Thank you for uh, watching.